Hi guys, welcome to my first tutorial showing you guys how to make a door in Doom Builder on the Hexen format. Because this is a little bit different than if you work on the uh, C Doom format. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. We're gonna make a little area where we can spawn it. It's gonna be something small like this. Uh, I kind of screwed that up. Uh, let's change it. Uh, like, come on, work with me. Alright, there we go. So we got our first uh, area set up here. Uh, let's copy this to the other side. And since we're going to make two doors, I'm going to copy it to the other side as well. So we got, we're going to make two doors here so you guys can see how it works. So first we want to make a little connecting between the doors here. Like that. Um, so now we got the doors connected here. So we definitely wanted to do it on the other side as well. So since we haven't changed any settings yet, so we're just going to copy it to the other side here. Like that. Now it's uh, connected on both sides. So now we're going to make a door, this is going to be our first door, uh, let's not click this one. Uh, so we're going to go to the sector mode, we're going to click right mouse on it. We're going to lower the ceiling to zero. That will lower the ceiling, it's pretty obvious. Uh, the tech is also important, uh, because this is our first door, we can leave it to zero. But if you want to make more doors, we have to put it to one, two, three, so forth. So, uh, so now we have set that up, uh, we're going to go to the uh, in-depth mode. We're going to select both of the doors, which is going to be the doors. We're going to right mouse them. It's going to be a repeatable action. Uh, then we're going to go to the doors. We're going to make a door raise. And here you can see the sector tag, which we indicated with the sector mode to zero. So we're going to leave this to zero for this one. Uh, this is going to be the movement speed where the door is going to open. It's going to be 16. Uh, the close delay is when the door the, the door will close. So uh, it's going to be 128. You can experiment with that if you guys prefer. And right now the trigger is player walk over, so in, if it was like a lower area, the player could walk over it and it would trigger it. But right now we're going to use player presses use on it, because we're, we lowered the ceiling and a player can walk over it then. So player presses use on it, and then we're going to go apply a texture to the door. So I'm just going to check like this texture, it should be fine. So now we have actually set it up, um, we can already test it, and it should be working already. So let me save it real quick and let's hop in the game. So as you can see, here's one door, the other one hasn't been made yet. Uh, the texture is totally not fitting right, but uh, see, I press E on it. Oh, yeah, I definitely forgot one thing, as you can see. The, uh, the walls are going to go the door. I can show you guys how you can easily fix that. Uh, let's go back into the editor. And right now it doesn't show me the editor, what is going on. Alright. No, it's still not showing me the editor. Let me really reload the map, maybe that fixes this. Let's hope it. Yeah, go. Ah, yeah, that fixes this. Sorry about that, not sure what is going on, probably when I'm recording it. So, uh, if you don't want to go the walls to go with the door up, you have to apply a lower and patched. This will make the uh, the walls not going up with the door. So I can show you guys how it works now. It's a little uh, thing I used to forget, but it's easy to fix, you can see. It doesn't go up anymore. And the door is closed after 128 uh, seconds, I guess it is. Yeah, yeah you can uh, experiment with that. You can also it. So now we're gonna make another door for this so I can see how to check the tech Alright, let's go back to the editor. Oh, my screen is screwing up again. Yes, it is, so uh, let's load the map again. Alright, yeah, yeah, we know. Uh, so the first thing we have to change again is the uh, the doors, right? So that's what we're gonna do first. Make sure you don't have any other things selected before you do this because you're gonna change that as well. Uh, so again, it's gonna be a repeatable action. It's gonna be a door again. We're gonna choose a door raise. This time we're gonna change the sector to one. Uh, we haven't selected that in sector mode yet, but I will do that after this. Uh, so the movement speed will again be 16 and 128. Uh, play press is used on it. I'm gonna apply a texture. Uh, wait, I haven't lowered the ceiling yet. So let's do that first. Go to the sector mode. Uh, lower the ceiling to zero. And now we can also apply this to one. And now we have to, uh, yeah, go here. And we have to. That's already selected. Select the texture. That, that was what I'm going to do. And let's select this texture as well. Oh, okay, there we go. And what 
else did I have to do? Okay. Oh yeah, the uh, the revolt. We don't want the walls to go with the uh, door, right? Like the last time it happened. So we're gonna l click the lower end patch again. All right. So we got two doors right now. This is the first door. If I open this one, it won't open the second one. But if I open this one right now, it also works. Like a charm. So this is how you make uh, doors in action format. So I want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to make more noise uh, by us. Uh, uh, attack 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, thank you guys for watching.